like a Vucity Views logo? If you do, then you might want to buy a t-shirt with the channel's logo. Just head to geekygoodies.com slash Reviews and grab a t-shirt for yourself or your friends. By buying Vucity Views t-shirts, you are supporting the channel, and I'm thankful for that. And don't forget that you can also support the channel through Patreon. Just head to patreon.com slash Reviews and choose the reward level that suits you best. Your support means a lot. With enough support, this channel will continue providing you with the content and you will be able to contribute to that as well. Thank you to everyone who watches and supports the channel. Hello there folks, um, it's the component series over here. So we're uh, taking a look at different games and maybe the story solutions to them as well. The components and maybe if you take a look at some of these games, you will want to buy them or try them. Anyway, this is Anachrony, and many of you know this one. It's uh, made by David Torchy and with uh, Victor Peter and Richard Ammon. And uh, this one has the insert as well, the wooden insert, uh, that I bought separately, of course. And let's see, if, if when I open it, let's see if the insert holds, because I, I store all the games like sideways, and let's see if it holds uh, the components well. This box is just too heavy. And I don't have the Kickstarter sleeve here. This is a Kickstarter copy, but I don't have the Kickstarter sleeve because uh, the thing about this one is that uh, I don't like those sleeves that much because they just... You want to take the game and you want to just open the box and there's the sleeve as well. And then you have to pull it out and then at some point you have to pull it in. And I mean, like, whatever, why you do the sleeves? I don't know. I just throw them away. So, to score... And, oh, a little bit, little bit messed up, but just a little bit. So, um, so these are the boards, um, and I don't even remember exactly what the, the, everything of these. So, as you can see, there's lots of art on those, though, like, there's lots of symbols, but when you take a closer look, and when you, for example, play the game, and you're familiar with the symbols, it becomes... A little bit more beautiful. Uh, it's like not like a mate kind of a matte, matte, how do you say mate, matte? Finish kind of a, not completely glossy. And here we have the different boards. And um, yeah, I really like those. Um, though they're half full of, they're full of information, but um, let me tell you what. Uh, once you start playing, uh, you will realize that it's not as bad as it seems. And this is the main board. And you can see, I really like the... Th there's art as well. I mean, although it kind of looks busy, with lots of symbols, there's a lot of art as well. But this... I mean, they could have done it like more stylish. All the symbols and all the circles and uh, what I call the... Basically, yeah, uh, the shapes. But if they would have made it more stylish, it would be less recognizable and it would be kind of unplayable. So the 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 um, everything is outlined, all the symbols, all the all the shapes and such to play the game better to understand where everything goes. But you can still see the art uh, once you start playing the game, and once you get past the symbols. And the other side, basically the same. Anyway, and it has the wooden insert and rule book, and you have lots of stuff over here. So, well, I mean, I mean, there's the um, so there's the rule book for Pioneers of New Earth and Guardians of the Council modu module. There's the rule book, which is like, I know, I know, I know, it's fake. Um, uh, the rulebook is done. It's it's fine. And then we have the art and story, where you can see more art. You can see the story, uh, which is really cool. This is the Kickstarter thing, I think. Uh, should be. And for example, it says you what everything is and uh, the the paths of harmony, leaders and stories and blah blah. The path of dominance and all the same art that was on the boards as well. But you can see the art separately. The chronobots and everything. It's really cool thing. And all the other uh, languages as well, though I'm thinking about maybe storing those or just throwing them away. Um, just hard to throw away stuff. 
And the first thing you can see here is the uh, the card holders. I'm not going to show you like every possible thing, but this is uh, really fine. It's not the it's fine quality card, but it has the linen finish and it has a really fine, a little bit glossier linen finish, which is cool. So the card quality, to be honest, is good. And it has some art as well, but mostly, you know, as you can see, symbols, 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 symbols. But it has some art as well. So anyway, uh, this is only a small, fragile part of everything. I don't even remember what it is, but you can stuck it on here. Uh, and when you open this one, you get some small tokens in there as well. And you kind of close it like that. Cool. And the other cards, a little different, let's not... Oh, by the way, oh, I, I remember that. So, on the side, as you can see, those things over here, you slide them like that, and you put it, how do you put it down? Like something like that, so you can take the cards from here. So, easy, cool. Um, I could do it without them as well, but I mean, that's cool. I like that. So this one, and cool stuff about this one is just like, for example, how can I take those tokens out? Basically, as you can see, um, not maybe really well, there are cuts on the other side. So I just push it and I get them. As you can see, there are the cuts over here. So it's a smartly done insert. And maybe it slides just a little bit, but not that much. I mean, I can deal with that, just a small slide here and there. So this is this is the one and different tokens. So as you can see, we have those miniatures as well. Um, let me just show you some of them. So they're kind of like on display. And these are those chrono bot, like the, the worker bots. So there are some places where you have to, sh like basically in the in the usual version, um, the the base game, the the bots are the um, tokens as well and you put your workers which are tokens as well uh, on bot tokens but here you put them inside these holes over here and these are actual miniatures of bots i'm gonna not gonna show you everything i'm maybe gonna show you just one more um like for example these ones and you can see really cool miniatures they are not the the cool mirror not quality uh whoops and as you can see, some of them fall out of their bases. But what you can do for that is that basically you can just, you know, glue them inside so they will not fall out. Yeah, I'm, there might be some just a small quality problem with, with the bases not holding the miniatures that well. And it doesn't fit right now. For what problem? I don't really know. Maybe, oh, I see. So, one small problem with these is that um, they should be inside those um, cuts really well to fit. So there's more boards over here. And then we have this one over here. And as you can see, you can take those uh, tiles from here and the cards from here. What are these cards? I don't even remember. Cargo ship wreckage, electromagnetic hurricane, the uh, journey through the rift, the old sewers, forgotten time capsule, a raid on nomad village, hidden resource storage, and by the way, uh, st still the artwork and lots of symbols. But oh yeah, these are like cataclysms, whatever they are. I don't remember exactly. And yeah, the only thing is that it's not really. Maybe it, you need to take them one by one in order to take them out. That's the only thing about this wooden insert. So, I um, don't want to waste a lot of your time, so I'm not going to show every possible detail about this one. But basically, here we have all the resources. Uh, you open it up from here. And here we have the resources. But, uh, with the Kickstarter version, the, these tokens... And by the way, one token is a little bit crushed. Oh, that's bad. As you can see and just show you. Maybe it will zoom. 
Yeah, it's not really good. But anyway, uh, these are replaced, although I hold them, I don't know what for, just because I have them. Uh, these are replaced by the um, actual um, like plastic resources. And there's are different cards here as well. And those cards are not as exciting because they have just some symbols and, and, and cubes and such. So still cool. But then we have this one and you open it by sliding it like that. And you can see on those, you have those cuts as well. And these are more tokens, like that. But um, kind of a, it's, it's, you need to put a little bit of effort to slide it out, but I mean, just a little bit, that's fine. I like that because that means that it will not fall off. And this is really cool, as you can see. I like it very much. The, you have those tiles. Over here, uh, here we have those tiles over here, like that. There are those um, anomaly and the, the future, the present, whatever the, the tiles there are. So what else do we have here? Uh, so this is another board. Oh, this is a little bit. I don't know how to take out. Oh, I see. This is the separate box. So here we have something. Oh, let's open it up. I don't even remember what exactly it was. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here you have some dice as well. Looks really cool. And I have played the game, but I have played it like a long time ago. So I need to read the rules again and such. So different dice. And some of those, whatever the the, the bots that are like all the auto bots. That come with, oh. As you can see, sometimes it doesn't want to slide in really well. That means maybe something. Oh, I see. Whoops! That got splashed and squashed a little bit. Who cares? Just a game. Now, I got well aside. So on here should be the resources, I think. Wow. And now you can see this is not the best one. So the resources fell off over here. I'm not gonna take them out. I'm gonna take them out once. So um, the idea behind this one is that you just like, you can, you take it out and here you have some resources. Uh, for example, like that, you put it on the table uh, you take out the the second one and I don't even know how to does it take it off. I don't remember that's 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 cool, but on the other hand it's it's not as practical. You need to be really careful. So this is kind of a you you put those on two different sides of the table and you can like um, share the resources better. And kind of shows you everything that's cool but as you could see uh, the 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 lower part falls off maybe it's just me putting the insert maybe a little bit wrong way but yeah as you can see it's just doesn't hold really well or maybe just the insert's fault uh, who knows anyway that's minor thing it's still a cool idea and then we have this one and this one, as you can see, those connectors over here, you slide it like this and you get the, your workers. And this is for the workers. And um, there was more to it, I mean, remember. It's not the only way. Can you somehow take it off? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you can take it. You take it off. And you get more workers and the same way you can just like put them on two sides of the table and and share them and that's cool now i remember then we have what is this I don't remember what is this oh these are the all the different uh tiles the buildings or whatever they are and those are in those kind of a cool things you can see that's really cool and 
here we have more boards. So, and this, oh yes, these are the, the different player, like boards and player uh, pieces. Uh, all the different ones, so basically here you have uh, the cuts for the cards and some, some tokens and such, so, and here we have leaders. Just not gonna show you every box, but basically, as you can see, your reference sheet card. And what you do is just, just put it over here. You put this one, and this one kind of holds everything together. And the last one is just a lovely um, tokens as well. So, <laughs> there's a lot to show you uh, in this box. The wooden insert is a lot here. And yeah, that's basically it. So I thank you for watching this video. I'm now gonna try to put it all back. And I hope we see you in the next video. Thank you much. Bye. This channel is sponsored by Osprey Games. Check them out at ospreypublishing.com.